me a little sugar buggers and welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Famous. So right now you guys, Brielle is giving Mr. Garrett some pretty valuable tips and tricks on how to pose for a camera because he actually wants to give Jasper a selfie, I guess. I don't know, something to do for Love Day. Something I also noticed, by the way, is Brielle's not a fan of the holiday. Like, she really just doesn't care to celebrate it. And that makes me kind of, like, curious, again, to her whole, like, past situation. Like, why is she so bitter about a day that revolves around love? It's craziness to me. Anyway, we did actually get our morning royalty report. Um, It looks like the 2018 beauty favorites have earned us 53 simoleons. Our fashion tips earned 56 simoleons, while our playful vlog which we edited, it earned 99 simoleons, you guys. So we actually earned 200 simoleons in total from our videos, which is actually not a bad little clutch. Very exciting stuff. So now that we've gone ahead and uh, gabbed his ears off, let's go and take a photo. As you guys can see, he is decked out in his finest duds. And speaking of which, I actually gave Brielle a brand new outfit using one of the new tops. Come on. We seriously just had a conversation. Like, you couldn't pose just a little bit a little bit more like saucy I mean this is love day after all but I mean we're just gonna have to work with what we've got he is seriously so damn cute like his hair is perfect it just matches him so well thank you thank you thank you for helping me out why don't you go over and give her a hug actually on second thought oh wait I was gonna say I don't even feel like they have that tight of a relationship for that to even be a thing um but we do have 62 simoleons now so hopefully we'll be able to replace our our stove sometime today, especially if uh, Garrett does really good on his um, on his audition. We might actually, well, no, the gig's tomorrow. <laughs> this is just to see if we even get the damn job. Freelance OPED. In the know, Gasper has learned that he has a chance at submitting just one article to the Premier Culture Review Zine and boost his exposure. What should he write? Uh, Hard-hitting exposure, a fluff piece. Definitely don't fluff anything. Like, fluff is not good unless we're talking about Cool Whip. Then please, fluff me all day, daddy. But anyway. Anyway, we're going to do some hot hitting exposure, expose, whatever, because I mean, T always wins. Making the most of this rare opportunity, Jasper holds nothing back and spends hours crafting a blistering report that ruffles some feather boas at work, but leaves him feeling empowered. Hygiene, minus 25, performance loss, small. Was he stress sweating? Because I mean, <laughs> I can relate. Second of all, we ruffled some feather boas. How is that not a positive thing? But at the end of the day, I mean, if he feels empowered, you do you boo at the end you are a freaking champ c-h-a-m-p champ in my book okay whatever you know what sometimes people just can't handle a little bit of you know <laughs> arrogance i mean or confidence confidence not cockiness right on it okay remember it anyways i'm actually really loving the fact that garrett and brielle are becoming really good friends oh my god she actually just became good friends with garrett so i mean that's gonna feel a little interesting. I don't really feel like Jasper would ever be jealous of that friendship, but if anything, you'd probably be like, oh, that's cool. Like, you guys are getting close, whatever. But you know that feeling when you introduce, like, your best friend to somebody, and then all of a sudden they become, like, really good friends, and then you're like, but what about me? But you're not jealous, but you're still like, what about me? That's kind of what I feel right now. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel, I feel a small little fraction of that. So, Anyways, I'm not going to read into it too much, but one thing, one thing I am definitely going to do is grab myself a little bit of lunch. So let's come over here and snag. Um, let's grab a yogurt because seriously, <sighs> the pickings are slim because we still don't have a stove and we need to we need to have some money in order to make that a thing. So um, I wanted to maybe have Brielle uh, chat up Octavia because y'all were just saying how you think that, you know, <laughs> they would just be the best of friends. Now, like, let's let's keep in mind in the last episode, she uh, did destroy her star. But, you know, as far as we're concerned, nobody knows. However, I wasn't really expecting for her to go that far. Like, that's crazy. She literally defaced her star. Like, like that's basically like pulling your freaking pants down and taking a gigantuous just crap on somebody's achievements. I mean, I'm definitely yeah, like speaking of jealousy. Hello. Like obviously she's got a serious, serious, 
serious crush on Thorne to the point where she just kind of wants to erase Octavia out of the equation. Oops, did I say that? I might have. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, let me see. I think we're ready to go in for our um, for our, our audition, and I'm really, really hoping that we're going to nail it. And so we did get some limestone, and we're going to extract this fossil just to see what it is that we earned. We only got 50 simoleons. So we're starting to, like, creep up there a little bit. I kind of want to come over here too and record another product review. We're going to do toys this time. Apparently the spawn was really good because <laughs> I could never see Brielle doing toy reviews, but I'm really kind of like excited to see what this looks like. Oh my God. And look at all the little figurines and the dolls. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. Like I have totally <laughs> thought about doing toy reviews because I'm a huge child at heart. Like freaking huge so like why not you know um Brielle also wants to give a gift and she would also like to meet someone new because she's feeling really really confident right now and I'm hoping and praying that Garrett nails this audition so where is the photo that we took of Garrett I kind of want to put it um, on the wall here we already gave uh, we already gave Jasper his his love day present and let me see here let's actually um, add a frame this is cute it's not as bad as I thought it was but it's not like you know it's not like ooh la la you're putting me in the mood it's like oh you cute <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what it is is this kind of weird we have like a collection of thorn memorabilia what what this is what happens when you settle into a relationship, you guys. Oh my God, people can obviously start forgetting who you are. So celebrity level lost. Garrett spent too much time out of the public eye. Now he's a one-star celebrity. He's lost access to the um, to all tier two fame perks. In addition, he can no longer host celebrity meet and greet events, which makes sense because he lost any fans that had interest in him. Like I understand, like this is everything to him. It's so super important for him to have a name, especially just given like where he's came from and like what he wants to do in the future and so hopefully this audition and this whole acting gig will actually you know propel him back into the limelight but I'm really feeling very bad for him right now I thought for sure we were definitely going you know in, in the right direction but apparently I'm not doing just enough or <laughs> what I need to be doing um so let's see where we're at it looks like Dustin broke hey I heard you became friends with Brielle Crow she seems pretty cool do we know Dustin oh my god we do how is it that we like get in with the celebrities so easily and I love the fact that she and Octavia have been just chatting it up lately I'm not really sure okay he's actually just about to come home oh and something good happened well aren't you a surprise Garrett I mean we had our actors pass auditions before but it usually just requires a bit more of a bribe to the casting director keep this up fewer bribes may <laughs> actually put us in the black this year well I'm very 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 proud of him for passing his audition now I think that means tomorrow we will be able to get our gig for the Salty Suds commercial. Now, when does Jasper get off of work? So he's going to get off of work in just a little bit. Now, I kind of want to go and kick it with Octavia. Um, maybe we should go over to her house for a little bit. Now, am I dressed? Like, am I dressed okay? Like, I think I look pretty nice. So, yeah, let's go over to Octavia's house for a hot moment just until, um, oh, oh, my God. Okay, so we need to reach level two of the writing skill. Oh, my gosh, I haven't done very many things when it comes to um, Jasper's career at all and then we also yeah no we need to discuss uh, outfits or fashion um, he gets off of work at five five o'clock so what we're gonna do is we are just going to meet up let's actually see if we can send her a friendly text if she'll invite us out somewhere um, but yeah the whole idea is definitely to get really close to Octavia and you know see what she's all about and like what 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 about her makes uh, the one's gears you know turn I agree Brielle it is a great day let's go out and enjoy it um, okay so she wants to go and grab some coffee like ta ta Garrett I'm about to uh <laughs> I'm about to be the biggest snake in the jungle no I'm just kidding but seriously though like I love this I love this like there's actually a reason there's no wait hold on a second we were supposed to go to a cafe um is there a cafe around here why are we at the Pupperstone Park of all things like that was not supposed to happen I guess it's like another glitch there's just been quite a few actually um since hello this or um since the uh, Python update but who is this Javier Morano like ooh, 
papazito. Like, que pasó? I don't know. Anyway, he's just, he's really cute. Like, I don't know what is going on. Maybe it's, like, something about his shirt. You know, over here looking like Pablo Escobar. But, I mean, hi. Anyway, um, I've been kind of, like, chatting it up with Octavia. And she seems, she seems pretty cool. Now, she's definitely a tough cookie to crack. But my goal here at the end of the day is definitely to kind of, like, woo her and impress her. It's been really hard being out with a celebrity because, you know, I mean, um, people see us together and they're like, hey. So I do kind of want to, like, take a photo with her if possible. I mean, like I said, anybody who's a friend of Thorns is a friend of mine. Is anybody else getting, like, kind of creeped out by what Brielle is doing? Anyways, um, going back to the boys, we're going to be meeting up with them, I want to say, a little bit later on at the Starlight Lovers Lounge. We have a table there. Um, we're going to go and, and probably just kick it and see where the night takes us. We're still a little bit on the fence whether or not we're going to propose. Like, that's just a huge thing. And especially because, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, our booth thing, Garrett, is feeling really, really disappointed right now. He's a notable old timer. Let me read this out to you. <laughs> um... It says, after scratching and clawing his way upwards, Garrett doesn't feel great about going back to being labeled a newcomer, which he is not a newcomer. I think he's transitioning from what he used to do into what he's going to do. So a little bit of a setback isn't going to kill him. But yeah, he's definitely not feeling very excited about it. And look at this shysty little smirk from our Brielle. Like, <laughs> Speaking of clawing your way up, like this is definitely that in every way, shape, and form. Like she's literally clawing her way up, if you get what I'm saying. So let's take a let's take a couple selfies here. We are absolutely going to be uploading these um to our Simstagram if possible. Uh, let me see if we can do that. Actually, we can sell. Ooh, we can. Ooh, um, hold on to put. Okay, you know what? We can put it on the wall. This is so weird, but we're gonna do it, and we can upload it to Simstagram from right here. Like we're not. We're not we're not a stan at all like no absolutely not um oh my god okay so we actually earned 20 20 followers from that and we're not are we friends are we i think we are you guys i think we've became friends with octivia i'm not a hundred percent sure no she's actually a stay-at-home mom too so i don't even know what she's famous for i think she's just seriously famous just for being with thorn which i mean duh like i mean me too right <laughs> Um, we still aren't acquaint aren't qu acquaintances with Thorn at all whatsoever, but um, it's kind of funny because uh, Thorn is actually friends with um, Garrett, and Garrett, by the way, I think is actually going to be inviting all of his celebrity friends tonight to his little party because, I mean, he definitely needs to get back in their good graces. So something I thought we could do is maybe possibly create a club for people who are famous so that when we go out tonight we can do like a little club get together or whatever um and we'll have everybody kind of in like one place one group so i'm not sure if this is going to work in my favor but we are definitely going to be adding dustin broke i know he's famous for a fact i think kayla also might have a little bit of fame underneath her belt we are going to add in thorn for sure and i love how everything is just kind of intermingling now i don't think we can actually add him in which is crazy to me because he's too famous or like what's the what's the issue why can't we hold on are you freaking serious right now oh my god no 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 oh my goodness okay we can definitely add dustin and kayla but i i mean maybe we're just not good enough friends with thorn to be able to add him to our little group yet so <sighs> we're just gonna have to keep it open for now um we're gonna call i'm gonna let you guys come up with the name um, but for right now, we're going to just be like, I don't know, we can call it High Society, but I'm pretty sure there's another group out here called High Society or like High Rollers. Let's just call it High Rollers. I don't care. You guys can come up with something way more creative than I probably ever freaking could in the uh, in the comments. But for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. And then we'll worry about it a little bit later on. So, yeah, all right, I think we should definitely start kind of like wrapping things up here with Octivia. Um, obviously, I'm going to invite her to the little, I guess, I wouldn't call it an engagement party, but, you know, a little shindig um, later on. So we can actually hug her now. It's crazy to me. We are definitely going to go over to her house because I <laughs> I hear y'all. She has a vault, a vault, a vault in her house. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm sorry. Like, 
<laughs> so exciting. Anyway, we are feeling exhausted right now. Uh, we can also give her a gift, but I don't think we have anything to give her except for the photo that we took. So let's do it because, I mean, maybe. Um, I don't want to give her like a love day gift because that's kind of weird. But you know what? We're going to do it anyway. And if she likes it, cool. And if not, that's fine too. But again, we're just trying to, we're just trying to like slip into her back pocket. No big deal. I think she likes it. No? Yes? Yes? No? Oh, no, she hated it. She's like, seriously, you gave me a picture of ourselves. She's like, okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and end this group here. And what we're going to do, actually, you know, are we? You know, no, 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 no. I was going to say we should, but let's take her. Like, seriously, let's take her um, to, I forgot the name already, but, uh, or should we go to Club Slate? I feel like that would be really fun too. Um, but we're going to have a lot of celebrities with us, like a lot of big names. So we kind of want to be at a more upscale location. Uh, where is it? Why, why can't I? Okay, there we are. Stargazers Lounge. Let's go. And we are going to hit it up with Jasper and Garrett. Um, I'm starting to get their names, like, <laughs> under, under my tongue, if that makes sense. I don't know why. I don't know why the freaking hell. Jen thought it was a good idea to get too crafty, like, <laughs> I was really reaching, okay? So here we are at the Stargazers Love Lounge, or whatever we're gonna call it. I actually decided to go ahead and make this place for celebrities only because we were getting bombarded with a whole bunch of hopeless nobodies and honestly they were just killing my vibe honestly you guys freaking oh my god jasper outdid himself we have a profesh dj headliner that we obviously can't afford here on the scene um really though like i am I'm, I'm having a really freaking fun time we've got octavia who actually isn't that half bad and you know the thing i didn't think about is the fact that um <laughs> Thorn's coming, Thorn's coming, and we've got his wife here, so, I mean, this could definitely go a, a few different ways, however, I don't even think we could actually talk to him for whatever reason, like, I hope he's okay, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna invite over Dustin, and maybe he isn't able to make it or something like that, which really sucks, because I'm not gonna lie, when Brielle discovered that it was, like, possible he was gonna come, she was ready to give Octavia the freaking boot, but anyways, uh, let's go over here and grab our ourselves something to drink i definitely 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 want um well i want uh i want jasper to complete at least two of his love day traditions like so that he has like a fun a fun time we still have like quite a ways until the holiday ends so i think we'll be able to make it but Let's get over here and order a bunch of vinos for everybody. Uh, I think Octavia is a part of our group as well. Uh, we're gonna come over to uh, we're gonna come over to Octavia and we're gonna we're gonna chat her up and hopefully we can end up getting some of our celeb status back because this is super disappointing that this is even happening. I'm so sad. Oh my god. Oh, this is really fun. Like, I love this lounge a lot. And I forget that we're, because we're in Simsy Save, um, we we have it, like, updated and upgraded, and it looks really nice. But I did do a couple things, obviously. I wanted there to be uh, a dance floor. So I think our drinks aren't going to happen just simply because we got reset, which is kind of annoying. We're going to try it again. Hopefully everybody can grab a cocktail here. But I think this chick is, like, just... I think she's done. She's done for the day. I don't know what's going on. We're going to try it one more time. Uh, let me see here. Let me go over and introduce myself to her or at least attempt an introduction. Maybe it's maybe it's Garrett. Maybe he has the problem. Let me try this one more time. Um, hmm. Attempt introduction. This is weird. I guess maybe something is just going on. Why are you taking pictures of me? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this kid is actually taking my photograph. This is crazy. This is really cool, though. I'm not going to lie. And it looks like it worked. We were able to introduce ourselves to Octavia. I'm really hoping that we're gonna we're gonna be able to uh, hopefully get that get that status back up. We're not that far off. What can we do to be famous right now? I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna order drinks for the group. Um, we're gonna order probably something really freaking expensive and bougie. Uh, let's do a bunch of the Cupid juices. This is not okay. Like we need to get our freaking finances in order. Big a freaking time because we're like going 
it down into freaking salt. We have nothing, but whatever. You know, like this is this is the life of the rich and famous. Like it needs to happen, Captain. But there's also other things you could do too. You can come over to the dance floor and have a dance battle, and apparently that also helps with your fame. Um, and then I need to have Jasper also. Uh, what does he want to do? He wants to go on a date. I don't think that's gonna happen. He can give flowers. He can also have a romantic spirit. Um, I think that's the main thing. I really wanted him to have like a fantastic love day, but I feel like the biggest thing at the moment is just you know at least completing one of these things and i feel like after this cupid juice we're gonna feel very like romantic and super flirty and happy uh brielle's gonna come over and chat it up with octavia they're gonna play in a little girl's date or something we're gonna ask about her love life because <laughs> i mean that's kind of appropriate right now is it not no maybe okay um and then maybe we'll throw some love day confetti and we're also going to um ask for her autograph because we can sell that all right well i think while they're all doing whatever it is that they're doing we are going to continue to swoon our man we're gonna kiss his hands we're gonna give him a passionate kiss we're also going to um i don't know what else should we do kiss his cheek and then i think after that you guys we're probably gonna propose i'm not sure but i feel like octavia just left <laughs> like that sucks but it's fine like i'm totally okay with that um i mean it is what it is right she she was with us for quite a while we did actually have a fairly nice time with her i actually kind of liked her which is crazy because you wouldn't think right you wouldn't think at all and i think everybody's leaving because it's getting really freaking late so um i'm gonna let jasper go and finish his drink we're also going to have garrett sip down this cocktail because these things were expensive and even if it's like just us three during this proposal like that's totally fine too because i mean it's supposed to be a romantic day and I love I love I love like I'm literally living right now how <laughs> it's starting to rain but that would be really romantic let's have them all come out here to the terrace uh, where would be a really romantic spot to have this proposal like right here on the dance floor so let's have the whole group go right here in the rain oh my god Jess I'm really excited okay hopefully he says yes because this would be the best love day ever so let's have him get down on one knee. Will you, Garrett Dotson, marry me? <laughs> he says, of course. Whew, that is a big freaking weight off my shoulders. Oh my God. Look at that little kiss. It was kind of cute, right? It was like, no, mama, it's different. <laughs> All right. So wait, hold on. Actually, it really was different because we hold on. Why? Like typically you would have them jumping into each other's arms but for whatever reason they just gave each other like little kisses that was actually really sweet though that was a beautiful proposal good job you guys i'm so excited um love day was pretty good oh okay cool love day was pretty good jasper got to do a lot of things that he wanted to do but not everything next year he hopes to do even more well i'm really excited that at least at least jasper had a fantastic holiday because he was like the one that was most excited about it out of everybody so i'm really 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 happy that worked out let's take a photo um with our boo so we can remember this day forever and eternity they're engaged you guys how exciting super duper exciting and i'm not gonna lie like they are the it couple i mean i love how jasper has been super duper supportive over everything i got frozen so and i'm not talking about elsa okay it's the bad frozen and i thought for sure we were gonna lose our progress and it's not gonna happen so i had to go and oops <laughs> i had to go and uh, redo that one more time you know what i mean <laughs> do it for the vine but uh yeah let's try this one more time like i don't even know why i'm talking like that but hi i'm jen how are you like that's good okay come over here rico suave we got it we got it all right we got it boo boo <laughs> Um, did anybody notice that he has a gap? I know, that's right. We, we twinsies. But let's take a couple photos of their engagement. And I think it's safe to say that we should probably go back home. I seriously had so much fun at the Stargazers Lounge. I wasn't sure if the proposal was going to go down um, at all because just, you know how busy these things get. But it did, and it worked out really, really well, um, too, in addition. So let's head back over to Del Sol Valley. I can just imagine them in the car, partying it up, living la vida loca, just, you know, making a vow that they are always going to be good friends, all freaking three of them. We're having, like, a Britney Spears, like, road trip moment. Um, I'm glad that they all made it home safe and sound, okay? 
Monday, by the way. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're really all getting close, which is crazy. Like earlier, I was like, uh oh, hopefully Jasper doesn't get a little jelly. Um, but I don't think he would. I really don't. The only thing that I think he might get a little more upset about is the fact that Garrett's definitely going to be taking this celebrity thing a little more seriously. So he's going to go places without him. Um, he's going to try to like schmooze on his own, which might be a little annoying. And I like how the fact that nobody, nobody's tired, like nobody's sleepy at all. But we do have this gig tomorrow at 7 p.m. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping uh, that we do well. So it looks like he wants to ask Jasper about his day. Well, you know what? I'm going to go and let them have a little alone time because, you know, <laughs> they just got engaged and all. And I like how the first freaking thing <laughs> that she does is obsesses yeah. over his freaking photo. Did we get, hold on, did we get her autograph? We did it. Oh, my God. We actually took a drink home. <laughs> Um, hi. And she's feeling a little sad to you because she had an awful holiday, but that's fine. Like, you don't even like the damn holidays. So why would you, why would you get that upset about it? All right, so break out the candles. Make it romantic. Jasper and Garrett are woohooing for the first time. Like, why are you lying? Why are you lying? Okay. Um, somebody asked me, too, like, how long have they been together for? Um, it's probably, it was, like, six months originally. It's seven months now, right? You know, in, like, sim days or whatever. So that's nice. Like, they got they got engaged really quickly. I mean, things kind of, like, that happen fast in Hollywood. Like, what can you say? Um, but since we're feeling a little romantic, is there anything special that we can do? We can do a love advice vlog. Oh, Oh, okay, because no. <laughs> love advice with Brielle XOXO is going to go over real big. Like, <laughs> what is she What does she possibly have to offer? Uh, she also wants to take a cold shower because she is feeling extremely sporty and a little hot and bothered. Um, do we know anybody? What is she, like, hooked up with Dusted? Mm, I could see it. Oh, I could see it. I wish we could send him a flirty text, but he's sleeping. Invite club to hang out. Invite over. He's sleeping. Oh, we're going to try. I don't know why she would do this, but she's feeling like her 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 bean is flickering right now. And she just, you know what I'm saying? Um, and he's also famous. So that works. <laughs> like, that works, you know? Um, is there anything that, that uh, Garrett could do to help his fame? Uh, I don't really think that there is much. Oh, we're looking at this picture, too. Are we now? Um... Yeah, I need him to do something that's going to get him famous. Like, I really do. And I just don't know what exactly 100% is, like, a possibility right now. But uh, let me see. How much longer does she have for this love advice vlog? We can finish it later. We don't have to do it all at once, I don't think. But I wonder if he'll come over. Like, I'm serious. Dustin is sleeping. No! What if we waited till, like, 6 o'clock? How long is she going to be flirty for? Not very much longer. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have her go and kind of, like, sleep this one off. I thought she was naked for a moment. I'm like, damn, girl, don't hold back now. Uh, but what else? else does Jasper need to do okay so he needs to discuss some outfits and he also needs to reach level two of the writing skills so we're gonna work on some of those things right now we are going to have him um discuss an outfit and then talk about fashion like we need we need a man to be behind us we need him to you know support us we need him to gas us up thank you okay and what else can we do can we discuss outfit again um hello uh, hey i'm speaking hi guys <laughs> uh embrace garrett you know what i really like the relationship i'm just saying like i really do sometimes when i have like couples together i don't ever see it and it's like it's i don't know if it's a problem with me or what but um i just don't and for some reason like the moment i created garrett i'm like i know that this is like this is it this is his soulmate this is his man this is like everything and i feel like he feels the same way too but the thing is is that doesn't mean that they're not going to go through things that's going to test that relationship like they're going to go through things like it's just inevitable especially in the industry that they live in and what kind of go things that they go through well you know what let me know like let me know in the comments down below what would you what do you think they would go through so Anyways, um, let me see what else it is that we need to do. We actually go to work in three days, so we have a plenty of time uh, for us to go to maybe like an internet cafe and work on our writing skill. But you guys, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I'm having so much fun. I really freaking am. I love this family so much, and I love that we're just able to play the damn game, and it fits so freaking flawlessly into what we are doing. So with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part here. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. With the sun doesn't shine, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Remember when we went to Hollywood? We did stuff that we never thought we would. Backstage parties, drinks, and limousines.